What's up, Nerd Swag fan? This is Ashton D here again to bring you another anime review. This series is called Cowboy Bebop. Now, Cowboy Bebop is about characters named Spike Spiegel, Jet Black, Faye Valentine, and Ed. Ed doesn't have a last name. It's just Ed. And um, this group, outside of Ed, is uh, a bounty hunter group, um, and they pretty much make a living off bounty hunting. And um, the setting is based, like, in... Um, like way in the future, um, as you can tell by the flying machines that can go into space, and they uh, pretty much uh, can go to pretty much any planet in the solar system um, in a matter of days or hours, because they have these um, these uh, wormhole type things that send them to other places in the uh, in the solar system really fast. But um. It's pretty much, I think it's a 26 episode series, maybe 24, I can't remember off the top of my head. But every episode is different, every episode has a different mission, and um, it's a really good series. I recommend everybody to go watch this. Um, it has very good comedy, very good animation, very good action, and character, de uh, character development is really great. Um, every character gets, uh, usually gets about one episode of character development throughout the series. Um, to show their background and what happened to them to get them to this point of what they're doing now, which is bounty hunting. And um, bounty hunting, the, the, the money system is a little different. You never really know how much money they're getting because it's like a million uh, whatever. I don't know what their currency is called. I don't, can't remember. But it's usually like up in the millions what they get. But every episode, it seems like they're always struggling to get food and stuff to survive. So... Um, it's pretty much a struggle. Um, Spike Spiegel, he has a pretty good background in um, like martial arts, and he uh, uses that a lot throughout the series to catch his uh, his bounties. Also, he's really good with uh, guns too. Um, Jet is a former cop. That uh, you learn that throughout the series, he's a former cop, and he's for some reason I don't know if this explained. He's gone into bounty hunting to make a living, and him and Spike are the first two that joined up to become a team for bounty hunting. And then later, I think it's in the first couple episodes, you meet Faye, Faye Valentine. Um, she is a con artist. She works at a casino, and um, she pretty much robs people at the casino blind because she's good with, like, card tricks and making sure that she wins and nobody else does. And then uh, you meet Ed later on in the series, who is a computer hacker. He's just a little, or he, I think it's he, yeah. He's just a little kid, but he uh, hacks a lot of crazy stuff, and he is, like, I think he's wanted at a point, but no one knows who he is. And Spike, Faye, and Jet are the ones that end up finding him, and he joins a team to help with bounty, hunt, bounty hunting. Um... And that's pretty much that's pretty much it with those characters. I mean, um, you get introduced to different characters every episode. Um, they're all likable characters, even though some of them are enemies. Um, I believe they are trying to make a live action movie out of this. Keanu Reeves is heavily involved, but there's uh, setbacks. There's been setbacks over the uh, past about three four years, um, and Keanu Reeves said that he would play Spike Spiegel, which wouldn't be that bad, except for the fact that he's kind of older. But, I mean, it doesn't really show in movies. But, um, yeah, it's a really good series. Out of 10, I would give this series, like, a 9.5. It's very, very good. Um, you can easily sit through this series in about two to three days. And I can promise you, you will not be let down by this series. It's very good, and you will be happy that you sat down and watched it. Um, tell me what you guys think about this series if you've seen it down below. If not, go ahead and take a chance to go watch it. Make sure you click that like button for the video and subscribe to NerdSwag and until next time, peace.